Hi, I'm Wayne, this is Emily, and we're just going to show you how to milk a cow. We've been out here about seven years and we we're really bad when we started. We're not experts, so I'd love it if you know more than us, you could put in the comments some tips on how to milk. But basically, we're gonna give it a go. We've got some green clover here because she loves that as a treat and a bit of loosen for after we're finished. So we'll give her a little treat before she starts just to make sure she comes up and is ready for the milking so we don't have to go and get her. Hello Jet Fighter, how are you today, hey? How are you? I just put this rope around her neck as a way of saying, oi, sit Swampy, sit Phoebe. Not good having the dogs too close. Swampy, back. Go back, sit, good boy, sit. So this rope is just the way of saying to her when you've got this rope around your neck, stand still, don't move. So I'm trying to train her. Can you move back a bit, Lauren? Because she's interested in you, that's better. Beautiful, what's this camera? You, you like the camera, do you, jet fighter? So the first little bit's just relaxing her, so give her a little scratch and um, rub down with a brush, but the dogs got our brush a couple of days ago, so we don't have it. And you, you want to milk or hold her? You hold her today? Yeah. In the past, I've tied this to a star post and that keeps her still. But I'm trying to train Jet Fighter to stand still with no post so that we can just milk her without tying her up. So she hasn't learned it yet, but that's the aim. When you're giving her a rub down, it's good to give her a rub under her tummy and down near her udder, just so that she starts getting used to it. So she had her first calf, just there, about two weeks ago. So she hasn't been milked before two weeks. So she's still learning. When you first start to milk her, um, don't just go and grab the teat because I think they're a little bit ticklish. So if I just go and grab the teat from nowhere, oh, she's not going to do it. She might kick. So don't just do that. Sort of work your way around, make it feel comfortable, and then down to it is a better way when you're starting. We don't let her eat at all from the grass while we're milking, just as a way of, um, so she doesn't move around. And she loves a big scratch around her ears and on a hairy bit. All this is just part of relaxing her, and if she gets to the point of chewing her cud, she's really relaxed, that's good. Okay, Jet Fighter, I'm gonna milk you now. Thank you. So, first thing is, this is fairly warm water. Actually, this is a bit too warm today. Just gonna wipe her udder and teats clean. Thank you, Jet Fighter. This is just in case there's any dirt, she's been sleeping on it. Oh, hey, Jet Fighter. See how she flicked me before she kicks with her foot? That's just the flicks, the way of saying, hey, I don't like that. You gotta listen to her tail flicks. See how there's just a bit of, bit of gut comes off there? I like to give it a good, a good clean because we don't pasteurize the milk, we just drink it raw. So you want this all nice and clean. So no hit bits of hair and things fall in. Great, good girl. Next thing, so I dry it off, dry my hands Just with another old nappy. Good girl, jet fighter. Right, now, people use various things on the teats to moisturize them. 
we use some coconut oil. So the coconut oil has been sitting in the hot water, that, that melts it. And I just put a bit on each teat. So coconut oil is also a mild um, antifungal, antibacterial kind of thing. So it does stop infections a little bit, so it's really good. Also, the first thing, and I do it now before I get the bucket is, that first bit of milk in each teat you just squirt out onto the ground because if there are any bits of bacteria or yuck sitting in the end of the teat you don't want that in your milk so a couple of squirts from each teat I'm a bit of a I like to do this too I do a couple of squirts in the bucket give a little rinse out don't have to do that this bucket's been sterilised with boiling water. And then we start milking. So, bucket there. What she may do is try and put this foot forward and if she does, it'll kick that bucket. So I'm ready to grab the bucket and hold her foot if she does do that. And Emily's gonna sing because she loves singing. All the cows love singing and they relax more. So, you gonna sing there, Emily? Beautiful. And so there's two ways of milking. One is you grab the top and then squeeze it out. Like you grab the top and then squeeze it out like that. But I, the other way is just stripping it. And because her teats are short, I think stripping's better. So. So what you don't want is the milk from here getting pushed back up into the udder. So the worst thing is just squeezing it because if you squeeze it you might be actually pushing the milk up way through a one-way valve and plus if there's any bacteria in the right in the end of the teat you might be pushing that up into the really clean udder so you always go down that's why when you're starting stripping it's almost impossible to go backwards when you're stripping whereas if you're doing this way if you actually if you haven't gripped it hard enough there and then you squeeze this one it might squeeze it back up so if you're starting the stripping is good as I'm starting, I'm just, like I'll do the front two teats. I'll try the back teat there and the other back teat. Right, so I'm feeling that these front two feel fairly empty. So they're the ones the calf probably drank off. This back one's really full. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm always milking from that back one because it's going to. Right, and then you just milk. How's she going up there, Emily? She's going good. She's chewing a cud? Not, not yet, but she's um, getting there. Some little tips. I think they like it with, if you go in with your head like this and just rest on them. Don't know why. I find the most comfortable way to sit is just crouching like this, actually, but some people like a stool. <laughs> the calf over there having a nibble on the loosen. Oh, the teats don't all squirt down. So if I just squirt this one, it sort of goes back. So that means I have to sort of point it down. So if I pull it this way, it'll point down. This, this teat, it does pretty right direction. This back teat, it's gonna squirt way out there. So I have to pull it this way as I'm milking so that it goes into the bucket. So you just sort of, if the teat's squirting that way, 
you milk it this way. See, so the bottom's facing the right way. You work that out. Now, if you have little tips for me, I'd love it, because we've only learnt out of books and from YouTube. There you go, jet fighter. This is lovely today. Hello. How you doing? How are you today, jet fighter? This is lovely milk. She's staying pretty still today. Sometimes you can feel her weight shift forward, which means she's going to take a step, which isn't good, and you've got to sort of be ready to move the bucket. See that there? How I had to move the bucket away and keep her leg back. No jet fighter, that's not very nice, okay? No kicking, please. When she does kick, I try and go back to milking in exactly the same way that I was on the same teats, just so that she learns if she kicks, she doesn't get any change. Otherwise, she'll get trained to kick to teach me to move. So, whatever I was doing when she kicked, unless it was particularly hurting her, I'd go straight back to doing it. What's that flip about? So see the milk there, that's about, oh. What are you doing there, jet fighter? No flicking, please. About a quarter of a bucket so far, so we're a quarter of the way through. There you go, Emily.
Hey, jet fighter. What was that about, jet fighter? It's not very good. Thank you. I've had a few squirts here where I've got milk on my finger like that. See? Gotta hold, gotta hold your finger up. If your finger's down, you get milk on it. Now, because I've got milk on it, some of the oil's wiped off. It's actually getting a bit dry up here. So, I'm gonna put a bit more oil on. Hello, getting a bit more oil. exact other side of it so when you've got a cut you sort of got to try and get it so that you're not squeezing on the cut what's happening jet fighter oh she's interested in the bucket back please leg back come on hey good girl you don't go wandering off on us like that Boogie in your nose today. No. Head back, Emily. Thank you. Just hold her head. 
We're basically trying to train her to sit there patiently and not eat and not move. So the reason we have two people is because um, she's only been milking two weeks, so she's not trained. I would like to get to the point where I come down and milk her without Emily or Emily milks her without me and she just stands there. Don't know if that'll work, but What's that about Jack? I don't know, thank you. Give me two warning clicks there and then go.
nila. Coming closer to these teats. This front teat is just about running out. Very soon it'll. See how it's getting thinner? So that udder's nearly empty. There, it's got none left. See that? So you could, it's good to strip it dry like that. So that, well it's not so important when there's a calf on, but especially if there's no calf on, you wanna get them all dry like that so that there's no milk left, so that there's less chance of mastitis. That other front one's nearly finished too. There it's finished. So that one's finished, not much there. If you rub that udder, you might get a little bit more milk down. Not much. Great, now it's just the back two. Oh, that was flick was cause I'm back on this saw one with the cut on it. Saw that one. The others are just milking this back one. Only one left. finished. Hey, we're nearly finished, but not quite. Thanks, jet fighter. She's ready to go. Nearly finished there, jet fighter. This one's got a cut on it. Can you see there? Yeah? Yeah. Calf cutter. So I want to make sure that I do empty this one out. Because mm. I found that if there is one that's going to. And I'll have a massage that. Just to get a bit more milk out there. Good. They're all finished now. All empty. Great, there we go, a nice big bucket of milk. Put our coconut milk away. Now, I like to put that away before the dogs get it. Now you want your loosen. Good girl, thank you for your milk today. Get some loosen for you. Good girl.
just got a little bit of dolomite and mineral mix in there. I think it has sulfur, selenium, magnesium, zinc, blah de blah. It's just a really basic trace mineral mix to make sure she gets what she needs. Hey, there you go. Beautiful milk to have iced coffees and yogurt and cream and coffee and Thank you, Jet Fighter. Good job. Good job. Good girl. Hey? Yeah, you're a good girl. Thank you for your milk today. Don't forget if you've got any tips on what we're doing wrong and how we could make the milking better, give us a little comment.